All right, guys, cutting right to it. Here it is, the new Arma Creighton 8S EXB. This is a beautiful truck. First of all, huge thanks to Arma and Horizon Hobby for giving me the opportunity to try this thing out, give her a hard bash, really put this thing through some paces. Uh, first of all, the body on this thing is absolutely beautiful. I really love this black and matte black and red combination. Arma always kills it in her styling apartment with her bodies. Just to give you a quick glimpse of it right there. Still has the same uh, awesome looking crate and body, just with these all new graphics. Just looks really mean. I love these big Copperhead 2 tires. They're a little bit beefier than the stock Copperhead 2s. They got some really nice lugs on them right there. As you can see, they are prevented from the factory, which is really good to keep that uh, water and sand and stuff out of your foams because the centrifugal force of the tire spinning will just throw everything out that may get stuck inside there instead of the hole being inside your rim, which sucks everything in. So that's really awesome. Arma does that now with the RTR tires. Here's a quick comparison to the tires on the Copperhead 2s, again, against this new EXB Copperhead 2 and then the stock RTR one. The lugs on the EXB tire are much bigger. The tire's a little bit wider. If it's picking it up right there, and of course a little bit taller. Here's a quick shot of the inside, all this EXB beauty in here. This thing just looks like it's ready to take a take a hard bashing. I love it. Got all new shocks right here with super beefy shock shafts. The turnbuckles on this thing are massive. Just look at that. Let's have a new 160 amp ESC in here along with a big block 1100 kV motor with a nice fan on it. Um, the stock gearing was 2347, but I'm going to go ahead and try a 2847 at first. And then I may switch down to the optional 39 tooth. Uh, spur we'll just see how it goes with the temps and stuff a quick tip when your motor mount slide screws right there I would install like a three millimeter cap head like I did here as opposed to this uh, stock two and a half millimeter These things strip out so easy and if you're out on the field bashing and you need to adjust your motor mount and these suckers strip out on you You're kind of stuck in the mud unless you have a dremel with you So these things right here always always work out well for me. There's a quick shot of the chassis. Don't just bash send it <laughs> EXB 7075 aluminum, so it should be super tough and it should take quite the beating again I'm just blown away by these massive turnbuckles on this thing like everything on this truck is just super beefy and massive Just to show you real quick what's new on this thing electronically It does have this awesome DX3 controller, which I have no issues with this thing whatsoever It's got a nice spring on the wheel nice nice tension on the throttle right there. It does have a new a uh, servo this is a 59 kg at 8.4 volts, which is pretty good. It's got the 160 amp smart v2 waterproof ESC 6s to 8s compatible Of course this new big block 1100 kV right here 5687 motor with a nice heat sink and fan included this new servo is pretty impressive I can't wait to try it. It's a 47% more torque over the previous uh, steering servos and older models and it's 90% bigger and 8.4 volt compatible this new Spectrum big block motor right here is 10% uh, more torque, 21.5% bigger than the previous 4685. Can't wait to try that sucker out. Of course, it's got all metal gears, internals right there. Shows you a picture on the box. It's 7075 aluminum chassis and all these bits. Front brace mount. It was a huge thing right there that used to break on the RTR. Is that uh, that brace mount right there it used to always snap? So that's really cool that Armor Listen and made that a nice little aluminum piece. It comes with a goodie bag with all kinds of awesome tools in it to keep you going. And what is this beautiful red wrench right here? I can get it out of there. That is nice. <laughs> nice Arma aluminum uh, wheel wrench. You can just keep this in your pocket out on the bash field, tighten them tires up if you need to. That's really nice. We'll dump this out. You got your uh, stock wrench right there, aluminum wrench with some nice Allen keys and stuff. Some other tools, uh, some shock pistons, and then a 30 tooth optional pinion for speed. This will get you that 60 plus miles an hour. Uh, not recommended for off road bashing, but if you want to do a speed run, or if you're uh, playing around on some really flat dirt. It does have the adjustable battery tray, so you can adjust this sucker out all the way out to 180 millimeters right here. So that's really cool if you got some massive batteries. So I'm just gonna give it a quick run, uh, pretty much all bone stock except for the gearing. Again, I'm, going, I'm doing 2847 and I'll bring a temp gun with me and just see how that does. All right guys, again, this is a beautiful truck. It's a perfect option for people that wanna go hard and uh, have a ready to run system without having to spend a ton of money on other electronics and stuff. Uh, this thing should be a really impressive straight out of the box. Just play with the gearing. Just get it where you want it. And you shouldn't have to do anything else to it. I mean, it's, it's super tough. EXP, Arma Tough. And we're going to give her a quick run and see how it goes. All right, guys, out here for a quick maiden on the new Creighton 8S EXB. Again, I'm running 28, 47 gearing. I'll keep an eye on the temps. And I also turned up the ESC to punch nine. Uh, so I'm going to give it a nice little shakedown run. Not going to go too crazy out of the gate. I just want to get a good feel for the truck, see how she handles with the new electronics and a new servo. The next video, we'll ramp this sucker up and really get crazy. All right, guys, let's see how she does. Oh yeah, she's got power. It roars when it turns. Very responsive servo for sure.
Yeah, she's plush. <laughs> oh! That's an EXB chassis test right there. <laughs> Come on, girl, let's see what you did. Damn, she cased right on that rock right there. You can see the chassis imprint. <laughs> oh, that was a good, good test, good smack. Looks like she took it. See the little spot right there where it, where it hit. Oh. Guys, this thing flies nice. Very good control. Thing's taking a pounding up there on those mounds. They are rough. Up, oh, LVC. All right, guys, we'll check the temps. It's a full pack. That was 8,000 milliamp Ovonic packs. We see see what we got on the temperatures real quick. Again, that was pretty hardcore running the entire pack duration. You guys can see that we got about 140. That's all over the place. Yeah, 130 is on the ESC. Batteries are kind of hot. Oh, got about 170 on the motor. A little bit, a little bit warm. But again, it's really hot today. It's in the upper 90s. Got 162 on the front there. So right now I'm probably maxed out gear wise uh, again. It's really hot today and I was running really hard So that's really not too bad. I was able to get a full full run in full set of packs. I did bust this little uh, uh, Brace a uh, rod end right here to the center tower um, I'm not sure when that happened. It did take a couple of tumbles, but that's not bad at all Everything else is holding up so far perfectly Oh right into a curb Oh! Whoo, that was close. <laughs> that was a ramp shaver gone good. Right, guys after that last jump i noticed the truck was handling a little funny i noticed this uh this rod end snapped right here so uh, i'm gonna try to patch that up a little bit i don't have one to put on it and i will run around a little bit more but i mean this this is a 30 pound truck taking some major hits out here oh there it went 
All right, guys, that's gonna be the end. That rod end right there, just couldn't take it. I tried to wrap it up with zip ties and Gorilla Tape, but I'm gonna have to order some rod ends. But overall, guys, this truck took a pounding out here for as heavy as it is. I mean, super tough. I'm not gonna complain whatsoever. Other than that one broke rod end, the entire truck's still together. The chassis is still perfectly straight. Might be a little bit of a warp from the GoPro uh, camera angle, but hey, she took it. Everything on the inside of the truck looks good, again, except for this uh, brace rod end that I broke earlier. But all the drive shafts uh, still appear to be straight. It's kind of maybe kind of hard to see with a shadow, but I haven't noticed any uh, bends in the drive shafts. Yep, they all look good. The only break again was this rod end back here. So that's not bad at all for the hammering this thing took. Big shout out to Arma for their innovation on this thing and building an RTR beast that's already tough out of the box that can take a hell of a bashing. Definitely had a blast with this thing. I'll fix that rod end up and we'll get her out again soon and see if we can blast her even hard. All right, guys, until next time, RC Dude 81 Peace out.